We usually start around 6 o'clock in the morning when it's nice and cool and um, get our canteens filled up and make sure we have a nice cool shirt, long sleeve sh shirt to wear. We take our stick with us and we walk from suara to suara and start picking, knocking them down and cleaning them out. Split the pots up and take the fruit out of the pots if they're not quite ripe yet. My youngest daughter is the one in my family that's that's been here with me, you know, and and has been learning. Look at that, Joe. Two sawars and already got almost half a bucket. <laughs> it isn't her first time. She's been out here since she's been three years old. Every year I'm out here doing it, and I think they probably wonder, why is mom doing this, you know, out there in the heat all the time for three weeks? <laughs> but I hope that they will continue the culture. Oh, oh. too tall. See this one? The culture's been there, always there for years, many, many years. And it only comes once a year, and, and we respect the sawars. This is what I like to pick because it's so, so clean. We respect all the plants and, and what they give us, such as medicine, the, the fruit. We may eat it. Some of them is for us to eat, and some of it's used as medicine. And, and it's, it's, it plays a big role in our, our lives because this is our home. We were raised here. Usually the picking's about two to three hours. We get home about 10 o'clock and then we bring it home and our bucket's full and we soak them in water and prepare it for, for the coals or the fire or put over the fire. And you add some water to it and half enough so it'll boil down to where the fiber and the seeds will separate from the juice. It cooks for about 45 to an hour. And then we'll bring it down off the fire and strain it. Strain it into a screen strainer and that'll divide the fiber and the seed from the juice and in a separate pot. And the fiber and the seed we lay out in the sun and dry it to prepare it for our jam for later use. The seeds is used as a porridge, which they call kaich ator. The seeds have to be grinded up in, and then put into this uh, custard or pour, you know, a pudding, and then it can be made into candy. And some people use it for chicken feet. We bless ourselves with it on our first picking because we respect the sawaras and how much it's brought us, how much fruit it's brought us, and how much jam and syrup. And then out of the, the, the fruit, you know, we make the wine. We have the wine feast, which is also religious culture happening. And then after that, we dance and sing so the rains can come and harvest for the following year. I just don't want the culture to die. I want it to go on forever.